I'm Shafinas <laughs> Salamat and um, I've been in the industry for quite a long time. I started singing when I was nine years old. I suppose it's just the talent in me or, or you know it flows in the family. Everybody in the family sings. Everybody either sing or dance or act you know so um, basically art is, is a part of the family. Um, so when I started singing. It was, I was actually first introduced by my sister who worked in Angkasapuri. So that was actually how I started off singing until now. I'm working on an, an, a new album uh, which is going to be out definitely uh, by the middle of the year. Yeah, and it is a, we call it a crossover album where the music is actually a fusion of uh, contemporary music and Western classical. So it's going to be something different from Malaysia. Music is my life, you know, if, if there's no music in my life, then there's no life at all. Yeah, because it, I'm very passionate about it, my life is all about music, I work around music, I work with music, and the people that I know are all in the music industry. Most of them, um, well, even my family, in fact, they all love music, you know, so, yeah, without music, there's no me. I started off as a pop singer. Uh, when I was uh, 16 years old, I cut my first album, that was uh, a pop uh, album. Um, and then 10 years after that, I recorded another album. And that's actually more of a, a pop R&B album. And then again, uh, after that, about 4 years after that, another pop R&B album. When I uh, finished my SPM, I, I entered UITM and I studied voice and the, the idiom or, or the genre that we, we have to be trained in classical music. So I tend to love the music and I find that it's, it's as, as the years go by, it tends to be, you know, uh, uh, my forte. Till now, I have not had an album for more than 10 years now and I still have uh, people calling me for shows, um, which is, you know, which I think is, is kind of an achievement because um, after a while, uh, usually when, when you don't have an album, people tend to not remember you anymore. But, um, but because of my genre, which is uh, classical and also pop, so people still remember me and they know that if they want to call uh, this kind of music, they know it's, it's me that they have to call. So it's not that I do not love pop music. It's just that, um, you know, uh, it's something that I do. I do both. I do classical and I also do pop. So that's why the, the upcoming album is going to be a crossover album. It's going to be a, an infused uh, elements of both music in the album. Achievement can come, many people see it differently, you know. So I, I see myself as somebody uh, who's, who's uh, lucky enough to be able to do what she loves in life. You know, there are some people who who has to just do what they can do. Where else, um, as musicians, if we really love it, we are extremely lucky to be in this industry. You know, um, I, I have, I see myself uh, being successful in the sense that um, I teach. You know, uh, people know me as a, a voice uh, lecturer. I am respected in my field. Um, that to me is an achievement. I would love to see um, the music education to, uh, to be better here in Malaysia. Um, actually, it's almost like non-existent in, <laughs> in school, you know, so, um, which, is, which I think is sad. Um, but the music industry, on the other hand, uh, we've got um, a vast talent of, uh, uh, or a vast pool of talent, okay? Uh, we've got many talented singers, musicians, but um, they need to be given the opportunity to, to expand uh, and to become better. Um, they must not be, um, what do you call it, uh, restricted uh, in terms of creativity. You know, where sometimes we are not allowed to do a lot of things here in Malaysia. So um, I feel that that will cut down on our creativity. Yeah. Um, but having said that, I must say that we have so many talented people here in Malaysia. And being a teacher, I come across so many talented singers. 
um, but we need to give them a platform and they need they themselves need to be uh, need to keep on working need to keep on um, uh, you know uh, making themselves better this is definitely the right company to approach if you want to do an event uh, because they are very um, very professional they give you the best talent that Malaysia can offer when it comes to work, I think they give their best. Nothing less. Thank you. Less. <laughs>